A great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Any similarity to Anne Orlando living or dead is completely incidental. No copyright infringement attended. Be cool, Nintendo. Load the 2080 Ti. Working to its maximum capacity. Rendering each individual ember. Man, I can't but I sunk probably 150 hours into this game on the 360. No wonder my apartment was so hot back then. It's a human effigy. Looks like you weaved it from your own pubic hair. Young boy with beard is definitely better than old man with beard, in my opinion. Not to mention this is literally changing nothing. It has to load. There's no way it has to load. It was loading. <laughs> Glabella with <laughs> Oh, okay, so that's the Glabella, huh? Just, I promise you, we'll just never wear a helmet. This does look like if you made a Tiger King video game for the N64, this would be your main character. I love the fact that his face just looks painted on. <laughs> oh no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're laughing at me. You'll be sorry when I come back here with double sastis. Is there a spoon up here? This is a mimic. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind, dude. Oh, the music. The tinkle, tinkle. It's sending me again. Majula, I'm just calling it. It's the best hub. In, in Dark Souls. Are you the next monarch? That's me! Or merely a born fate? Nope! <laughs> Why does the game look so bad? King like, it's just how it looks, okay? It's not, like, this is not there are the configuration's so fault. It's just, king. this is what it looks like. Oh, don't forget the well shard. I don't need that garbage. You think I need Estus to beat a game? You didn't watch Dark Souls 3, huh? There's a certain magic to this game in my life. He's not holding a weapon. That's because I was born with two weapons. They moved the big guy? What, too many 10-year-olds uh, complain? Get Steam refunds? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. And then Power Stance. Is this power stance? <laughs> it's, it is the Arthur meme. You want a slice? You're gonna get a slice. That's all you're gonna get though. You're not getting the whole pizza pie. You're just getting a slice. Oh no! Oh! Be careful who you call weak in middle school. I've died. The property brother. My first death. Tried to pancake me. Oh, what a move. Nope. Won't be needing that. Hey! Hey! I feel like a Resident Evil boss. I feel like uh, Nemesis or Mr. X right now. I love that you can sprint up ladders. That That's pretty cool. For all the negative things people say about Dark Souls 2, they never mention sprinting up ladders. Definitely, when I go down there, somebody tries to hit me with a big boulder. That is seared into my prefrontal cortex. Use turtle armor? I wouldn't dare besmirch this incredible animation I've got here on my run. Try it on? Alright, I'll try it on. Alright, that's pretty sick. I think this is going to be the best Souls build we've ever had. Um, did you see every texture in the game just pop out for a second there? I'm realizing now every enemy in, or every encounter in this game is just walk into a room, 
and then they hit you with the ambush. I never, I've never been like a hitbox guy. But what the fuck is happening? You'll never take me alive, coppers. <laughs> Dude, does this re every time you boot Dark Souls 2 as a reinstall your C++ libraries? Dark Souls, you Installing Microsoft VC Redist package, step one of two. You can cuz I'm offline on Steam. <laughs> it's like I got to go online on Steam so that it can install the package, close the game, go offline on Steam, and then launch the game. Absolutely incredible. Just just an absolutely staggering piece of technology. Hey! I didn't, why would that blow it up? It's not... Your weapon's not imbued with fire. Is this why I don't like Dark Souls? Because this is the first one I played. I'm I'm not. We're so early on. I refuse to go in on Dark Souls 2. It definitely feels a lot worse than 3. You didn't get up in time. It took you 20 minutes to get up. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that hit me. Okay. You would you would have thought there would be some kind of like force feedback for that maybe, but you just got to look at your health bar so you know that you got hit. This game has PS2 energy. There's a real uh there's, there's some truth to that statement. I remember when PewDiePie posted a video of Dark Souls 2 where he beats this boss. There was a conspiracy theory in the weirdest corner of the internet that thought he paid somebody to beat this boss for him because there's no way he could possibly be good enough at Dark Souls to do this. <laughs> you say this game doesn't have poise? That's where you're wrong, kiddo. Whoa! He spared me. He, he saw the armor and spared me. I do love fighting a large guy with a sword. Uh, and also he's Cyclops from X-Men. Acquire numerous souls, or perhaps... Dot, dot, dot. Use it to get a... A boss weapon. Unless... Dot, dot, dot. No, don't crunch me. You're so sexy, haha. -ha. I do appreciate, to be honest, that this game starts a little bit... I mean, I guess I can't really judge it, because, like, I'm just... You know, making things hard on myself is a joke. But, uh... It starts harder than the other Souls games, I think. Hey! I mean, now we the real boss. Oh my god. Phase 2. Phase 2 finally done. I remember the lore here. Isn't this like, this is the last giant who got turned into a freaking tree or something? I definitely watched some Dark Souls 2 lore videos. I do have to say, I, I obviously like the textures in the game are bad. Full stop. Um, however, I do think like from an art direction standpoint, it is kind of beautiful. Like parts of the game actually look quite nice from like a staging and design standpoint. Like Dark Souls 3 looks really good, but I was not impressed with the environment design in a lot of areas. Some of them were really nice. Like the, the actual Ring City was amazing. But this is like the only Souls game, not including Bloodborne and Sekiro, but it's the only Souls game that kind of feels like unique. This is like the aberrant Souls game. It opens in. These guys have never played Landlord Super. <laughs> oh. I knew it! Um. Well, that was unexpected. 
I this is one of my favorite video game tropes is a boss you fight multiple times to give you like a sense of scale or like a progression I guess like in cave story when you fight Balrog all the time I love that mechanic so I, I like the idea of having a boss you fight over and over not so much when he does that though ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, if I die, but wait, 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 you gotta, you, you could do better, you could do better. If you're gonna do a Tony Hawk song, you gotta do, so here I am, doing everything I can. I gotta hate you, I just hate you so much, dude. The man hit a barrel that exploded. I didn't get hit by the explosion, but I got hit with a piece of debris. It's like Spelunky. <laughs> it, it is. That's a Spelunky death. This is me relaxed. You look like the Joker. <laughs> this is this is me relaxed. And then when the boomer at the bank refuses to answer the screening questions, brother, don't fuck with me. <laughs> When he started to push that barrel away. <laughs> Who made this? It's like a bull made a Sunday made a diarrhea cockadoodoo. That's a little Gav. <laughs> we don't need a little Gav. Can you imagine uh, being such a noob in Dark Souls that you use weapons that don't just go on top of your fists? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm a little baby. I'm a little baby. I need range. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Yo, it's the best area in the game. I think that Dark Souls 2 got screwed because it came out. It doesn't have a remaster yet, for one. And it came out right at the end of the 360 generation. Which was like the longest console generation in Earth's history. And it had to run on that hardware. So it looks like trash. But that's also because the hardware was trash. It had to run on something that came out in the year 2005. Even though this shit came out in 2014. Which is... That's a tough break. I gotta give it to him. That's a tough break. This is a boss. This is... it. People don't really like the Dragon Rider. I think he's okay. Not the most inspired design, but I'm a sucker for large bosses. Plus his armor is, uh, it has a crimson hue. How cool is that, dude? This might be, this might be a tight first time. Yeah, I got too greedy. <laughs> That's not as bad as dying the pinwheel, but it's pretty close. Okay, maybe it is as bad as dying the pinwheel. <laughs> Just woke up from a nap. How much Dark Souls 2 has passed? Six years. This came out in 2014. We are now in 2020. Boy! You should go watch the news. You are go you are in for a rude awakening. It's been a heck of a year, let me tell you. Maybe 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 go have some breakfast, enjoy a nice meal, and then turn on the news. You're gonna be like, what the hell did I miss? When did he say that? It was an interview that. It was probably like eight years ago. Missed the lever. I'm dead. <laughs> Who's the boss here? It's a large. It's it's one of the two-handed creatures, but it has four hands, right? Look, this is the point of fists. We want 
fists to be bad, so there's fun. So it's funny. I mean, like, you know, in the 1990s, there were people that were like, can we stop using the phrase awesome? Like, it doesn't literally inspire awe. Now we're sitting here in 2020. Awesome is just part of the vernacular. Tubular fell to the wayside. That's why, like, when people are like, it's cringe when people use Twitch emotes in real life. I'm like, I disagree. I say pog all the time. I'll say, I say monka now and then. I probably wouldn't say it to, like, my lawyer. <laughs> like, if I were, if I, if I met with my financial advisor and he's like, the markets have been pretty down thanks to this corona stuff, I wouldn't go monka, you know? He's like, but it's a once-in-a-generation buying opportunity. Pog, dude. Um, just got shot with a with a bolt of energy. I know, do you? There's no reason to live if you cannot do the deadlift. What am I doing here? He popped his kill streak. <laughs> oh, dude, this is. Don't kill me because I gotta do this. This part sucks, dude. <laughs> wow! Look at that coward. You can break through the planked up wall. You know, it's it's weird, but uh, I I admire I admire Dark Souls 2 for its its bizarre uniqueness, without a doubt. I mean, everybody here probably has, like, one cousin that's way too into, like, a weird young adult novel series, right? Dark Souls 2 is that cousin. That is, like, really into, you know, like, fantastic beasts and where to find them. And is the only person on Earth who owns, like, merch related to the crimes of Grindelwald. And is, like, you know... You're like, yeah, you know... Aunt Kathy is, like... 45 and she really 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 likes fantastic beasts and where to find them it's a little weird you know she has like a real adult job but she's super into the crimes of grindelwald but we still love her she's a nice lady she's just just really really likes the crimes of grindelwald i really was in the honeymoon phase with dark souls 2 i'm now realizing oh my god like, when I played it, when it came out, I, I cut it way too much slack. That's not to say that it's not good, but I really, I did not remember how often you just walk into a room and immediately get shit on by like eight enemies behind blind corners. I'm still having a good time, but I really did forget how much you get ganked. You just, you get ganked a lot. That's I am using a jank weapon. It's a little disingenuous to, to deliberately use a jank weapon and then be like, wow, the jank weapon, like it doesn't hit that well. All Souls games are ganked. Yeah, but like, I, I'm just gonna respond to your comment with another comment, which is where, like, like, it's like you walk out of this room. There's two dogs, okay? And then, there's two more dogs. And then, there's a dog, and there's a dog, and then there's a dog behind this wall. There's a dude shooting arrows at you, and then the second boss spawns directly in front of you. That's like six seconds of gameplay. Well, it appears you were defending Dark Souls 2, and then we've encountered a physics glitch. Don't you feel like a fool now? <laughs> My god. It's like saying the word wrong in a verbal argument. Why do they call it Sinners Rise if you descend? Like, somebody tweeted me, and it was a two-series tweet. The first tweet was, I've been watching you for ten years, I've just gotta stop, though. I feel like your reactions have become fake recently. Ah! And, uh, honestly, like, it goes against what I stand for. And then the second tweet was, 
But I wish you the best. You have an amazing product, and I hope your life turns out great. And I was like, this is like the meanest compliment I've ever received. <laughs> This is a two-parter. I remember I remember she's a two-part Marty. I just think it's weird how NL calls things Martys now instead of bosses. Like What happened? That's it? A one-party Marty? I don't even know if I used an Estus there. I know no, the other bosses is, isn't the other boss at the bottom of the Bastille? It's at the top of the Bastille. This is part of the Bastille. Uh, excuse me, this is Sinner's Rise. It's a different jurisdiction. In Sinner's Rise, it's, uh, legal to drink outside. You have no power here, officer. It's not an unlocked door! <laughs> Come on! Come on! That's a troll, dude. It's all right. I mean, like he ate the life gem, and then he was just just digesting it, which is why he was incapable of rolling. I would say. How do you feel about Vancouver allowing all jaywalkers to be killed on sight? Clearly, we have a, we have a man who's subscribed to the newsletter. Thank you. I can still hear their footsteps. The smell of their still decaying bodies. Like when people say you're more likely to like shoot someone in your family than shoot an intruder. I know like everybody or the average person is like, not me, dude. I just, it's simple. I just wouldn't shoot my family and I'd shoot an intruder instead. I'm like, that's me. I'll wake up like half asleep and be like, we're being robbed, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Let's go. These guys are hard. <laughs> I'm still- dude, like, I like this, okay? I do like it. Why are the enemies so much harder than the bosses, though? Press E on all walls. Yo! <laughs> Whoa! What? I heard Chris Nolan is releasing his next movie on Fortnite. Yeah, dude. In order to watch the movie, you have to land spicy at Tenet Tenements. And uh, you can watch it just as Christopher Nolan intended in a 640 by 360 p resolution drive-in movie theater billboard in Fortnite. Rendered in-engine. He's just chilling. I don't know why I'm at. He's just chilling, dude. I forgot about this this door. What the hell is this door, dude? Like I would watch like a ten hour video essay about this door. Like what is was the thought process to be like? We're gonna make a door, and when you open it up, there's a skeleton embedded in a bunch of dirt. That's Solaire. This used to be Lost Isla. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Some privacy, please. Dude, I am being pursued right now. He do be pursuing, though. You know what would be nice is if, like, one time he showed up and just looked around a little bit and then left. And then you're like, what just happened? And then when you killed him, he dropped a note that said, I'm the peruser. All right, we're popping big souls, dude. Big souls. Soul of the lost sinner. See ya. Oh no, you could have made uh, the sunlight talisman. No, dude. You could have made uh, Velka's boots with that, dude! You could have made the Rodden's earwax resin generator for your offhand, dude! No, that's the Valkyrie's helm, man! 
One of us always lies. One of us always tells the truth. Dude, I'm telling you, these seistuses are legit. That's why I, I, I like the idea of, the idea of doing a double seistus build. Because, like, I think Dark Souls 2 is, like, it's viable. I don't think it's viable in 1. I don't think it's viable. Well, I don't know. It might be viable in 3. I'm just legitimately, like, I don't know. It's fine in 3? That's pretty sick. You're stronger up here. Up here, this is your time. It's your time up here. These guys are not endlessly respawning, right? What the heck was that, dude? Alright, this is not a great time to have Seistus. <laughs> yeah, just take me. This is a tough one. <laughs> I think we're gonna get there, but this is a tough one. Dude, I'm telling you, this is like randomizer worthy. All right. <laughs> it's also the last piece of kimbap. Let's go. You got to upgrade your turtle bod. Oh, I forgot. People told me there's a good reason to upgrade your armor in this game. That armor? Maybe not. Well, it's the only armor we're wearing, so... We're going to find a way to make it work. Come on, man. That's just... Like, that's just stupid. Come get a taste, you stupid freaking idiots. It did nothing? It hit nothing. Switch to another weapon temporarily? Absolutely not. Uh, where'd the lady go? No, my waifu. Oh, she's in Majula now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can I have it? Yeah, it would be nice. Kind of a little light on souls, you know. That made me very uncomfortable. Please stop this. Well, just give me the thing then. Please stop this. Oh no! Yo, if she's so powerful. Why couldn't she kill the dragon rider? You ever consider that? What did this girl do? Talk back? I felt like she didn't speak to me with the respect that I thought I deserved. I'm interested in one thing, dog. It's Apollo! It's Apollo IRL! I'm interested in one thing, dog. I told you I don't watch shows with orcs in them. Oh my god. You got me. Didn't anticipate the door having it. Ah, yep, okay, you got me. Nice try. I learned to check my corners. Oh my god, dude. Come on, man. Will you use other weapons at some point? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the expression, if it ain't broke? Or if it is broke even, don't fix it because it'll be funny? Press E on a wall again. This shit is getting ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What were they thinking? It's like it was designed by a bull's proctologist after a night of eating lamb vindaloo. It's a nice cream sundae with grandpa's chocolate syrup after taco night. Yo, you guys want a, a good bit? Here I am, doing everything I can. Okay. See, this feels to me like I ain't ever been here before. What are you, hey, hey, you're just beating me, beating me senseless with reeds. <laughs> Yo, he do be fast, though. He do be fast, though, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the counting sheep and I'm so confused about what to sometimes I want to throw it all away <laughs> dude I'm with you like I, I love a little bit of jank I hate good games I love games that are they have a lot like hey here's a fucking weird idea what if the barrels like laugh at you and kill you 
Sure, why not, dude? A lot of people are gonna hate that shit, but sounds like it sounds like it could be fun. I have really come around on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, though. After seeing it for the second time, I was like, "Yeah, just fall, whatever." Tried to take a shortcut. I tried. Basically, you know what happened? My brain was in like war zone, and I was like, "I'll just jump the gap and vault." Cowboys versus aliens. Uh, that would definitely be uh, on the list of movies from the 2010s that, quite honestly, have absolutely no reason to exist. Mo movie is has, in my opinion, essentially zero redeeming value. It is very low on the scale of just turn your brain off and have fun. It is also not in any way inventive or exciting um pretty much i i think that movie exists just for people who are like that's harrison ford harrison ford shooting a gun even though he's in his 70s sure i'll pay 15 dollars to see that i will say i did see it in theaters it was not my choice a uh a friend of mine when i lived in korea was like how could it be bad and I was like, I'm pretty sure it's going to be bad. And then we saw it, and it was really bad. The end. I'll also tell you that after the, uh... After we saw the movie... Where there were three of us. After we saw the movie, we went out to a bar. And we had a, a pitcher of beer. And one of my friends... Sorry, the third person. Who I was a little closer to than the uh, Cowboy and Aliens guy. Put ice cubes in the cowboy and aliens guys beer and he got so mad he actually left and like walked home it was like an hour long walk skeleton lords <laughs> oh my god surely that's not the end of this okay stand behind this this doesn't seem like a good sace this boss the music is so good. <laughs> Look, this doesn't strike me as maybe one of the most exciting bosses in Souls history, but it's better than uh, Deacons of the Deep. At least these guys, like, fight back. <laughs> oh, it's shit. Miyazaki's cousin, who is the designer on this one, because Miyazaki was busy. We're supposed to ship the game in an hour, but we're missing a boss in Huntsman's Copes. Let me stop you right there. For uh, int i equals zero, i less than 20, i plus plus, spawn, open parenthesis, skeleton, close parenthesis, semicolon. I thought for sure that, dude, this is giving me serious dwarf mountain flashbacks. Oh, uh, no, no. Crappy wooden ladder? Yeah, yeah, we're going to Windmill Town. Oh, my legs, dude. <laughs> I have never been here. I've never crossed this bridge. This is all brand new. Undead purgatory. Oh, he's in the PvP build, brother. Oh, no! Oh, my God. He's, he's way too strong. There, I stand no chance. I, I stood no chance. Literally, like, my only chance was to hope he walked off the edge or backstab kick him off the edge. What are show muscles? Show muscles is what people who work on a farm derisively call muscles that people who work out at a gym get. As if, like, the way that you get the muscle determines the strength of the muscle. <laughs> that was, honestly, it's better for us to just die. <laughs> that we were not making it through there regardless. I have been made to forget why I did Lion Strats in the first place. But then playing through Dark Souls 2 again, I'm like, I totally get it now. No wonder this game invented Lion Strats. So many of the runbacks are just frustrating. Oh, the Miyazaki's new pathfinding algorithm, dude! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
That's my chili. Oh, what? <laughs> You're not gonna see that one on Epic Name Bros YouTube channel. <laughs> He got me on that one. Where the heck is the lever, dude? Oh! You passed it. Ah! Get out of here! There's no iframes! Yoss! What? Yo, they're pissed, dude! They're pissed, dude! It's my first time fighting this boss. Have mercy. Man, th this fight might be worse than, uh than the skeleton lords. Get out of your dummy! You lived? Are you kidding me? I don't believe it! Oh my god! I'm not worried about these guys, they're slow. Alright. Really thought the ropes on the bridge would save me a little bit, but that's okay. Just wait till Iron Keep. Dude, I, I got Iron Keep still baked into my muscle memory. It's not over yet. It ain't over yet. It's over? I thought there was a skeleton king at some point. I thought we had to fight a skeleton king at some point as well. Y yeah, I... Mind your manners. Well, maybe if you didn't talk so much, I wouldn't have to leave while you're talking. I seem to remember some extremely annoying people here. Put on armor with poison resist. Uh, okay, is there any turtle armor with poison resist? I wonder if this is the most disliked region in... Alright, I guess I'll die. I actually thought they just trolled you. I thought, I thought they just like trapped you in there like... <laughs> I don't remember this. It, oh, it's just covetous. Okay. I thought we had to go further. I thought we had to light the windmill on fire. Dude, I think I died to this boss a lot the first time I played. I remember being like, I just can't figure out how to beat covetous demon. Look, at least it's not another damn chariot, dude. <laughs> it's weird, right? Like, not, not every... Some bosses just hit people differently. It's like some people out there, you could give them a habanero. And they're like, this is fine. If you give them a jalapeno, they're like, this this thing it hits different. This is a that was a hot that was a potent jalapeno. I have not looked up the hardest bosses in Dark Souls 2 tracker yet. <laughs> I I uh, usually I wait until I beat like a boss that's really hard, and then I Google like hardest bosses Dark Souls 2, and I go like, what the hell? I haven't even seen any of these guys. I didn't even know they existed. Sorry, it's flame resistant. People dislike it, but it's my favorite Souls game. Look, here's what I'll say about Dark Souls 2, legitimately. Um, it's... Like, different. And I don't mean that in an insulting way. I just mean, like... It, it has character because of its differences. Dark like, Souls 2 is like the... It's the weirdo one. And I kind of respect it for being the weirdo one. Like, it may not be... ...good. <laughs> and I, I don't know if that's true. I think it's good. But, like, I, I, I see a good reason to like all three Souls games. I would never say Dark Souls 2 is my favorite so far. But, I could, I could totally see... ...good reasons for liking Souls 1, 2, and 3 the most. Two is janked up, but it's janked up in a way that I find kind of charismatic, at least. Well, if you stay close, this one doesn't seem as bad. Oh, come on! <laughs> we died to the, to the basic enemy after the boss, who actually, like, did something.
This is like the number one like cinema sins complaint. It just doesn't make sense. You take an elevator up to go down? Why not parry? Um, both of my hands are occupied by weapons. They're just concealed weapons. And no, I don't have permits for them. Because I don't respect permits. The only permit I need was given to me by God himself. It's my bad. I tried the Dark Souls to it. Oh! <laughs> Did you see how he, he snapped? He aimbotted me. I understand that reference. Yo, ow, my eyes, dude! Oh, they're all they're all gold, dude. Why do they put so many consumables in Dark Souls games? You really just need Estus, Moss, Resin, and Fire Bombs, and like maybe Souls. Like if we're doing a, a genuine audit of the stuff in this game, like okay, Estus, Humanity, HP, very important. Elizabeth Mushroom. Get it out of here. Something already does this. Amber Herb. Slightly restores spell uses. If you use spells, you should just uninstall. Twilight Herb. See Amber Herb. Wilted Dusk Herb. See Amber Herb and Twilight Herb. Poison Moss. I'll allow. Monastery Charm. You know what? I'll allow it. Dragon Charm. I'll allow it. Rouge Water. It's an Estus Flask. Divine Blessing? How the heck is this different from the other merchant stuff? Green Blossom, accept the Homeward Bone, acceptable. Dark Sign? Nobody has ever used this in a Souls game, ever. Witching Urn? I'll allow it because it's Firebomb. All of the throwable projectiles that are not bombs? No. Get them out of here. Temporarily boost magic defense? Are you insane? You have a button on your controller that nullifies all magic damage when you press it. It's called dodge. Temporarily boost fire defense. I'll allow it, because sometimes there'll be like AOE fire, but it comes back to pressing the dodge button at the right time. Temporarily boost dark defense. Plus you spelled torches wrong. Temporarily boost poison resist. Okay, so these are resins. Bright Bug. Inflict more damage, receive less. A.K.A. Physical Resin. Repair Powder. A.K.A. You've already got 20 NPCs that do this to begin with. Flame Butterfly. Light Torch Autonomously. Yeah, it's, there's only 3 trillion bonfires in the game that already do that. Rusted Coin. Nobody knew luck was a stat in this game until they read this item description. Prism Stone literally has been useful the first time you play Dark Souls 1 and never again. Plus, what the hell am I going to do with three of them? It's just insanity. If you gave me 93, maybe, but three is nothing. Alluring Skull, literally only useful that time in Dark Souls 1, where you make the pig walk into the fire and you think you're a genius. Though you gave me three of those, I only need zero. You gave me three Prism Stones, I need infinity. And then Lloyd's Talisman, I'll allow it for Mimic Defense, but it's close. It's on the Razor's Edge. Simpleton Spice lowers required intelligence by one for Chosen Spell. You think you're playing Slay the Spire, but it's actually Dark Souls 2, so that's irrelevant. Skeptic Spice lowers required Faith by one for Chosen Spell. Literally refer to the previous. Just doesn't make any sense. Token of Fidelity. Proof of helping another world's master. I don't even... Bone of Order? With a slight upward curve? Let's not even talk about it. Uh, the Black Separation Crystal, a.k.a. if you're a super coward, it's your favorite item. And then Petrified Something. A.k.a. one of my favorite genre of items in Dark Souls. An item that has lore implications that only two people on Earth actually know of, and it does nothing in the game. <laughs> it's so visceral. Ugh! You can use the dark sign and you won't die. You know, when you're right, you're right. Oh no! He's full anime, dude! That's great. Well, it's I'm just being honest with you. I've beaten this game probably like 10 times. I've never killed Smelter before. He's one of the better bosses in the game. 
Is he one of the better bosses, though, when your weapon is uh, literally two millimeters in diameter wrapped around your fist? See ya! <laughs> There's 15 of them, don't strat it. I'm telling you, the strat works. And then you wait, he pulls out his sword. When he, oh no, but you can't make it through the door! Valid point. Valid point. You can't make it through the door. But like, then the next thing people say is, no, you just die over and over. And then eventually they stop spawning. I knew it. I knew it couldn't be as simple as a 1v1 fight on a bridge. Oh, of course. It's a freaking 2v1 fight on a bridge. And there's the arrow dude who I was originally complaining about. Okay. Ah, and now he's rushing me. Oh, and the arrow dude's still there. Okay, cool. Okay, very, very cool. Very cool. Plus, you gotta kill this guy who can one tap you. What? I don't buy. I, he he hit me when he resheathed his sword. All right. So I don't think we should fight Smelter. I think because there's a bonfire just past it, right? And then we run back to Smelter. I think the run back to Smelter is easier than the run to. No, they blocked it off with a gate. Are you kidding me? What were they thinking? Very, good. Very bad. That's a bad Keith. Bad Keith Miyazaki. Superior intellect beats superior speed any day of the week. Okay, so I got new strats. I got a new strat for you. You're gonna hate it. Let's do it anyway. It looks a little bit like this. <laughs> All right, I will. So I, the number one complaint that comes up when, when people watch me play Dark Souls 2 on YouTube and Twitch is that people go, I like Dark Souls 2, but every stream that I watch of Dark Souls 2, both the streamer and the community are just nonstop making fun of Dark Souls 2 and it makes me feel bad. So I hate to pile on. However, I will say I did used to think that Dark Souls 2 took too much heat and the heat was derived from it being not quite as good as Dark Souls 1. Now I am realizing, having played it now, i.e. more recently, that's not the case. There is... I know people really don't like the use of the word objective, but there's, there's some real actionable problems with the game. Hello, Smeltor. Now this guy's straight out of monster train. No, no, no. Oh! One of them stopped spawning, dude! That's a very good question. Why are they called Alon Knights when there's so many of them together? Are you winning, son? Dad! I just... I bought Dark Souls 2 and I just found out it wasn't made by Miyazaki. It was made by... It was made by Miyazaki's accountant. I don't know if we got, an, if we got enough sips to live. Just due to the DJ and Aura! You scumbag! Really? You might as well take me out. If you got that angle, you might as well take me out. Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? What a shot. This is a fun part of the game. Really? All right. You know, everybody who's been saying buy life gems. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> we weren't gonna make it anyway. He really just put us out of our misery. No bosses are optional when you play Dark Souls on Twitch. That's the first lesson. Quick sip.
Smelter Demon. There he is. Sometimes he does that. Remove the carvings from your quick bar. But they are... Well... Bad start. It's okay, that's what the gems are for. <laughs> On the bright side, there will soon be no enemies left. I know I've made a joke out of saying this sentence over and over, but this really is one of those times where I'm like, what were they thinking, dude? They're like, we're gonna put too many enemies in every area, but don't worry. Because if you kill the enemies 15,000 times, then they just stop spawning. So there's no problem. It's built-in game balance. I mean, I'm kind of making it worse for myself, for sure. I'm baking this sentence in here so that those uh, the people who are Dark Souls 2 apologists are like, well, he's making it worse. I know I'm making it worse on myself by using the Seistus. But it's also a way to make the game a little bit more interesting. And also, like, the bosses have still been jokes. Oh my god. At least let me kill you. Nope. Alright, so we're not getting too much closer to the despawn there. We need like an exclamation point optional. Exclamation point option optional is just a Mubot command. Oh god. That says no bosses are optional on Twitch. We were so close, dude. We were so close. We were there. I really still thought I could dodge it. Freaking time, dude. Every freaking time. We get him down to like 20%. You know what I was thinking in my head the whole time we were down to the 20%? I was like, this guy's not a problem. Like, when he does the two slice, you just go one dodge, two dodge. You get you, know, you hit him three times. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've done it. Textbook, he's easy. He's actually easy. Take me out. They should probably make this game a little harder. I agree. Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked on the screen! <laughs> that was almost... That almost ruined the whole playthrough. Although I think we're going to be over our equipment load now. <laughs> we are. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, dude. I mean, we might have to go armorless until we can afford a level. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that was a great fight. Ring of Blades plus- I thought you were memeing on me, straight up. Why not wear different armor? Uh, a turtle only wears a shell, okay? That's all you need to know about that one. Like, what are you- Oh my god, he's got so many weapons! What? It's brand new! This guy's a friggin' nightmare, dude. What the hell is that? Is it a gun? Alright, who's gonna pay for my ring, Oliver? I guess I could swap to the regular one. You're not wrong. Uh, they're all broken. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with the prisoner's tatters. Oh, 
Now we're talking. Exotic Joe. After six years in the joint. Getting ready to punch a king made of lava right in the face. Go back to Monster Train, Ifrit. I used to think that, but they're good for wrapping stuff. How often are you wrapping things? Less than 20 times a year. You're keeping a stack of magazine on hands on hand for all occasions? I only hope it brings Thank you. Why is she holding her hands like that? Um No, it was stupid. I, no. Oh, come on, what were you gonna say? No, never mind, it was dumb. No, come on. Just say, come on, now it's weird. Why don't you just tell me about it? Well, I was just wondering if you wanted to go get some ice cream with me. And then you hit her with the guy. I don't eat that stuff, you gains goblin. I'm lactose intolerant. It's bad for my digestive system and also it's empty calories. Very interesting design decision. Look, of all the things I'm going to make fun of in Dark Souls 2, let's not make fun of the well. You know what? We don't need to mine that for, for humor. It's fine. We made it. It's already done. Especially because, if I remember correctly, aren't we about to fight a boss that's 500 rats followed by a boss that is one huge rat tied together at the tail with another 700 rats? Let's round and round. With love, we'll find a way. Just give us time, time. What a boss fight, dude. You fought the skeletons. Now try the rats. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> like, honestly. What is this? It doesn't even make any sense. Oh, never mind, it does. He has a chain attached to his skull. That's my mistake. I didn't see that he had a chain attached to his skull there. Here I was, thinking that this didn't obey the laws of physics. Clearly, they... In production... Somebody already asked this question, and they, uh, they answered it by putting the chain in there. So sure, there you go. Why not? Oh, son of a bitch. It's the gutter. This is like the only part of the game, if I remember correctly, where you keep, like, a torch out almost the whole time. It- a lot of it is coming back to me now. I- I remember that I didn't know, like, I couldn't tell you how to go through the gutter. But when I played Dark Souls 2 myself, I just had a system. Forgot about that part. Fighting a boss in Sekiro is like a lot of going like, LB, 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 you press it like 40 times and then the boss finally attacks and you're like, gotcha! Perfectly timed and then like when people are watching, but they don't see your controller. They're like what the hell he's so good He got that parry perfectly Your guys going like What does pageantry mean? Uh, cut scenes and and voice acted lines and then music that goes ha 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 I feel like I'm playing laser tag. Let me through. Let me through. <laughs> I I have so much deep seated muscle memory that I did not remember until just now. Are these dudes on the bottom gonna stab me like the phalanx? Or am I gonna be good to get my dun 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 
I, all I do is punch. Yeah, check this out. One of these. One of these. Then if they really want some, give them a little bit of that. Isn't this statue blocking the switch or something? Or am I losing it? Wait a minute. I forgot about me, pre-surgery dude. Carol Basilisk. That's a lot of fun. I don't know if this section could possibly suck more. Dude, you know what would be a sick Dark Souls mod, though? What if it was just... What if you... And actually, Namco Bandai slash From Software, if you're listening, I got a great idea for you. It's a $15 new product. You take all the bosses from all the Souls games that you have the rights to, and you set it up like boss rush style. So you fight like one of the easiest bosses and then you get to choose like a couple upgrades or something like that. Like a piece of equipment or like 10 levels, maybe 5 levels. And then you just keep going until you get to, you fight like 10 bosses in a row. Chad, are you, are you amazed that I never know where I'm going in Souls, but as soon as I entered the forest where you can't see anything, I knew exactly where to go. I feel like there's still a lot of invisible men around here, and also some very large enemies that annoy me. Considering how much I've played of this, I am really surprised by how little I remember. I thought I remembered a lot more than this. I feel like when you step onto this thing, 400 enemies fall onto you immediately, or maybe you drop through the floor. What did I tell you? Everyone's talking to me. They're going, NL, your, uh, your headphones are uneven. What do you mean? Oh, she's in a bad place. Oh, I'm in a bad place. The more you know. I don't even remember the boss we literally just fought. This is an absolute mess. Oh my, just, just take me, just take me. <laughs> Royal Rat Authority. Can you just chill out? You're not even a rat, dude, you're a dog. Are you telling me this motherfucker does five damage to the dogs when he hits them? Oh, sorry, he does eight damage. My mistake! Um, but I'm thinking we're gonna run around in a big circle, kill the boss- the dogs one at a time, and then fight him. Beautiful. Man, this is actually a horrible boss. I might be here for two hours. Can you despawn the rats? <laughs> no boss is optional, exactly. The spin attack is like, it's like going all in, in Texas Hold'em. Like when you commit to the spin, you better be damn sure it's what you wanted to do. <laughs> I'm so annoyed that he does so little damage to the pogs. Like, I mean, the dogs. <laughs> YouTube won't like this. Dude, YouTube is loving the Dark Souls playthrough. I think this is like the ultimate so... It's so good that it's so bad it's good. It's an extra layer of so bad it's good. Like, the game is good, but parts of it are bad. And that makes it fun to watch. YouTube's having a great time. This is an optional boss. No boss is optional on Twitch. Except maybe Dark Lurker, because we don't know how to get there. Yeah, it is much worse than uh, Bed of Chaos. Would you rather do this or Seath and Priscilla? This! A hundred percent! Seath and Priscilla, time has not dulled the difficulty of that fight. That was... truly... That was like an unbelievable challenge. The bosses filled up almost the entire arena. One of them was invisible and kills you in one hit. The other one does an undodgeable attack that kills you in one hit. 
and yet we still made it. Which is how it's given me a lot of strength. It's how I know we're going to be capable to do this, too. Stack armor? We wear a Ninja Turtle. All, all we wear is Ninja Turtle. There is no armor to be stacked. Any comment that says change weapon, use a shield, or change armor, no. It will not be done. Are you doing something? What? He had an accident, dude. Really? That's what you do at the end? You break the armor of the person who had the audacity to fight you? One last fuck you? How was the Queen's Cafeteria? So, I don't know if you can find a story about this. I don't, I don't know if this is possible. But my favorite story about the Queen's Cafeteria is on St. Patrick's Day 2007. We always went to the dining hall as soon as it opened, which was like 4.30. Because, you know, you eat, you, you get there when it's not busy, you get fresh food. It's a very early dinner time, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it was nice. So on, uh, on St. Patrick's Day 2007, we went to eat at uh, 4.30. And then at like 6, I looked out of my dorm window and was like, yo, why is the cafeteria closed? Hold on, I'm telling a story. Like, the lights were off, and I was like, this is really messed up, because this is like, people have got to eat. And then I found out the next day that people were so hammered, they went into the cafeteria and started like a real food fight. And then the staff, who are completely justified here for the record, when I don't get paid enough to deal with this shit, and they walked out. And then the kids, like the college students, went behind the counters and started cooking their own shit. They started frying their own chicken nuggets and stuff and like making their own pizzas. So they had to get campus security in and kick everybody out. I mean, I, I remember it. But I was also, I mean, heavily inebriated for a large part of my college experience. So my memories from that era are not so good. Ah! So I this is bringing some memories back, dude. Like, when we get in here, in the Brightstone Cave, Soldora, at the bottom of this, don't we fight, like, eight priests at the same time? They also had those toasters that, like, they're rolling toasters. So you put your bread in, and it goes on a conveyor belt where it like heat lamps the top of it and then it goes into the back of the toaster and somehow it does a little flip and it gets toasted on the other side, right? And me and my friends invented those toaster nachos where we would go to the salad bar, you get like a, a pita and <laughs> you're, this is good stuff. Um, so you get a pita, you like cut it up so it, it's in triangles like a tortilla chip. And then we would put like shredded cheese on top of it and like other stuff from the salad bar. The first time we did it, it was amazing. We put it into the toaster. It like just worked and it came out beautifully and we were like, we're geniuses. The second time we did it, it started a huge fucking fire in the toaster. So we just unplugged it from the wall and like moved an inconspicuous amount of space away. I'm not saying it wasn't our fault, because we were putting cheese in the toaster. But secondarily, that toaster also, like, smoked like a son of a gun. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Well, I don't know. There's one more story. So I think I've told this before, but there's a game they used to play on campus. It's also called Assassin, but we called it Catch Me If You Can. So, like, in the spring every year, for two bucks, you could enter into this game. And the way the game worked is they give you like a clothespin. And the object is to, you get the name of another person playing the game. Hold on, hold on. Um, it, via email. And you have to find a way within like a week to sneak up on them and put the clothespin on their clothes. If you did, you captured them. Or you you killed them, I guess. If you killed them, they had to give you the name of their target. 
And then at the end of it, whoever was the last person alive or the last person alive at a certain time period with the most kills uh, won, like, all the prize money. Me and my uh, high school or my college roommate both made the top 10 in our first year. And I gotta admit, it's pretty easy, at least for the start of it, because m most people signed up for two bucks and then, like, forgot. Or alternatively, they were like, this isn't worth, like, screwing up my whole life for. But we were, like, all in, because we're like, dude, we can make, like... For a, for a university student to be able to make, like, a grand off of this game was, like, stunning, right? So we were in the top ten, and I remember I uh, got the name of my target, and my roommate was like, oh, shit, I know that guy. He's another freshman year, like, engineering student. So, like, we're going to get him no problem. So we waited in the cafeteria for hours and hours. One day he came in, and he was looking, like, extremely... Uh, you're not gonna believe this whole story, but I had to tell it anyway. He was looking extremely sketched out. Like someone had already narked that I was coming, right? Uh, but I was like, I'd already gotten like 12 kills or something at this point. Uh, so, and, and most of them was literally like, you just walk up to somebody and go like, bunk, and then they're like, oh, you got me. So I, I sneak up behind, beside this guy in line. And I go to put my clothespin on him. I swear to God, he swivels around 180 in like a one one millionth of a second. Grabs my hand. With his other hand, he grabs the clothespin and just rips it in half. And then he says something along the lines of, execute the plan. And then I'm just stunned. So he takes off running out of the cafeteria at full speed. I had a backup clothespin. Of course, just in case, right? So I ran after him. I knew what residence he lived in. It was really close. So I like ran into the residence, but he beat me there. And now I got to give you some more backstory. My uh, RA, you know, like the staff in the dorm rooms, uh, was like, hey, Ryan, one of my classmates was asking if I knew you the other day. And I was like, oh, because he knew I was in the game. And then he, we did some research and he like showed me a photo of the guy. So he was like, if you ever see this guy. Oh, this is the start. <laughs> if you ever see this guy, you know, you should watch out. So I ran into the, the dorm to catch my guy. And then I swear to God, I had like a heart attack where I looked in the doorway and it was the guy who was capturing me. And it wasn't even close. Like, I sprinted, and he just ran me down like a track star. But anyway, my, uh, my target ended up winning the whole thing. I'm pretty sure that after that event, he just stayed inside of his dorm room for, like, the next two weeks straight. Oh! What the... There are a lot of horde bosses in this game. You're not you're not kidding when you say that. What an incredible boss. Incredible. The world building. I think I always just sack towned uh, a death in here. I think I always just accepted we would get one death and then came back. Oh, I remember. And then we gotta kill you as fast as possible and immediately get up the ladder. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. oh, no, not like this, dude. Not like this. Also, in my head, I'm like, don't you have a, an absolutely horrible phase two or something? Why, why do I picture you turning into, like, a ghost <laughs> that shoots laser beams at me? Oh, I forgot you got a little butt face now. That's right. Am I crazy? Okay, so now I'm remembering something. Now we go, like, fight Vendrick, and Vendrick's like, dude, I was tricked or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, tell it to the judge. And then we beat the game? Something like that? Not even close. <laughs> oh! What the heck is even that? 
Dude, I gotta watch some lore videos. Is Does anyone out there make Dark Souls lore videos that are not an hour long each? When I was really into Souls, the tone of those Souls videos hit me, like, in the feels, right? To put it in the most cringy way possible, because that's where we're going. But now that I'm a little out of it and a little older, when, when they talk in the, like, really mellow, learned voice, and are extremely dramatic about it, I'm like, oh. The tragic night. Crestfallen. Accepted his fate. And turned into an ivory statue. Pure calcium. Not to be freed. Until an adventurer with a fragrant branch of lore happened upon him many moons later. Ah, we come up here, we open this thing, and then we go to like, we walk through this thing, and it's freaking dragon time, dude. It's, yeah, 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 hold on, you. I know you get this thing. You travel from here? This seems right. You go back into the past to play the shitty games that sucked ass? Something, what? I don't remember this at all. I'm dead. This is the DLC. <laughs> I remember Drang Lake Castle though. So you go to Drang Lake Castle, AKA this game's in Orlando. You run up a big staircase, that much is certain. Uh, and then there, when you get inside, there's the dragon head, the skull of the dragon that Every single Dark Souls 2 video where they go, From Software betrayed us, the textures aren't as good as they were in the E3 demo. Every single video has a screenshot of that place, like side by side with CSI forensics on it. That's Aldius Keep. Yeah, which is the attic of Dranglaic Castle. See, I remember this. It broke new ground. Oh, yeah, and the Herald's here. And the Herald's like, yo, dude, be cool. Is it, dude, this is the, the Dragon Skull supposed to be here. Increase his maximum load. Really? Does this look like a man who has a problem with the maximum size of his load? Just, like, no. I, I say no to you. I feel like I have a memory of opening this chest and getting shot by a thousand poison darts out of these masks. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hey, 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 we were all having a fun time, then you came in for uh, just a little extra. It wasn't enough for you, huh? Hey, hey, I remember. You're a trickster. I am Nishandra, queen of Dragon Liar. Yo, this is Mirror Knight. 1,000%. Yeah, told you. My face? <laughs> Dude, these guys... Two of them is pretty annoying. One of them is actually easier than any basic enemy in the game. But welcome to Dark Souls 2. Look, you don't have to dunk on Dark Souls 2. Every everybody knows... You know... It's got problems. <laughs> it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? <laughs> You're like... <laughs> what? I just got stabbed by the... by Geralt of... <laughs> wallpaper? Reduces damage taken from behind. Does this look like a man who has a problem taking damage from behind? I knew it, dude. Oh, what? You ate me when I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even open you, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, film? Dude, Korean movies. Really. Really. <laughs> oh my god. 
god. <laughs> There's just something... I, I This might happen in Dark Souls 1 and I don't remember. There's something so hilarious to me every time in Dark Souls 2. When you're in the middle of your attack animation and an enemy hits you and you just eat the shot and lose a bunch of HP without being affected at all. Like when you rear back for a punch and then an enemy hits you and takes off 85% of your HP but you still follow through with the punch. It's incredible. Am I interrupting? Oh, it's this freak. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta find my my jumping off point. I yeet! That was scary. Don't. Oh! I'm not saying again, like, oh, it's gonna be a breeze. I'm more just saying, you're not Mirror Knight, you're Looking Glass Knight. Don't you summon, like, an invader if we're online? I'm not worried too much about this right now. <laughs> this it seems pretty okay. Oh, you son of a... You're dead, get over it. I told you he's dead. How will you approach media consumption for the baby? That is, Kate's in chat. We can we can talk about it. That I think it's something we disagree on, to some extent. I basically think our child should not have access to the internet until she turns like, twenty-two. You know what? I've decided I don't need it. Oh God. What what's happening? I'm not being beset on all sides. By uh, bolts. Just give it a minute. <laughs> I love this. This place is so disgusting and decrepit and, and gross. But there's a rug. That's world building. It's like, yeah, I know I live in like a, a moist one room cellar in the middle of the worst swamp in the universe. But I got a rug. I'm not even sitting on it, but I got it. I wish I was more pogged. But Dark Souls 2 is like snorting riddling cut with flour after the 100% pure blue meth of Team Unity Tuesday and also the Wednesday NLSS. I hear ya. I, I really like the Dark Souls 2 streams. Like, I, last week was a great stream. We had, we had good stories, the, like the Catch Me If You Can stories from, from my college days. A lot of fun, right? Um, but, I mean, you can't compete with... Aim beast training letting us pog up with the uh, incredible victories. It is a nice looking area in here, I can't deny that. Here's the shooty part. <laughs> You're another dragon rider? But why? Oh, I know why. That's why. Yes, okay. I understand now. <laughs> it's like. They went, hey, put the good dragon rider guarding this empty bridge. And the bad dragon rider can be the... He can be the boss. Oh, it's hell. It's hell. I'm having flashbacks. Alright, that essentially could not have gone worse. <laughs> Did you guys see Dan's video uh, for golf where he tries to hit the bruh button, um, but instead hits the button that makes his voice echoey and then speaks like he's in a cave for the next 20 minutes? It's, his soundboard has, uh, has had some truly incredible moments. <laughs> the time he, he said, NL, this is what I, I've wanted to say to you. And then he plays the Goodwill Hunting clip that goes, your father was an alcoholic and he's like no 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 let me in 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 beautiful help 
Rats, rats, we're the rats. We make all the rules. I don't know how it goes. I just like to say it when there's a lot of crappy enemies around. This guy can't go 10 minutes without hitting, hitting his vape. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, break it. See if I care. What the heck are you? Oh! I'm telling you, this boss, like, actually ruined my Dark Souls 2 playthrough the first time I played. I thought he was too hard to beat. For all the talk about me being bad at video games, I used to be a hell of a lot worse if this guy was giving me trouble. I died to this guy? Now we're getting close to the end of this game. I know that for certain. You're not even halfway. Absolutely. I disbelieve you. It's Aldia, dude. Hello, welcome back. Is Aldia the scholar of the first sin? He seems to know a lot about the lore. He is? Brat. I have some memory of this, but not much. I believe we bait you and then sprint, and then we fart. We fart. We fight a very large knight in here. This seems to be a... Ah, uh, it's a very large knight, and he has, uh, white magic. And he swings a heavy bell or something. Something like that? He has dark magic? Whatever, dude. They're both hues. My only memory of this guy is him owning. He also has no ability to hit me at all. <laughs> okay. That was deserved. Let's be honest. That one was greed. It killed me. That one that one hurts more than anything. To get killed on that after saying he couldn't even hit me. I'm I'm so embarrassed by this terrible performance. This guy is really not hard. I'm just mashing buttons. Because it's worked on every previous boss. The the only time I fall asleep after I in the day after I wake up, before going to quote unquote real bed, is and this is not ironic, it's not meant to be humorous. When we travel like across 35 time zones, when we get home, I'll take like a three hour nap. But that's literally not even like a nap, it's just like a terrible sleep followed by another sleep seven or eight hours later. It's Vandrick! Don't fight him yet. Don't you get like a super... You, you fight him later and he's real? Yeah, I'd rather fight him when he's real. Or he's, he's too strong now? He's, he's too real now, okay, even better. I remember, I remember you. This is where gamers were betrayed by From Software. <sighs> this is like when somebody that you barely know dumps like an essay of personal drama on you and then asks you how you feel about it what are you gonna say oh i agree with the other person you're gonna be oh whoa that's crazy whoa really and then now this is the classic moment where i wasn't even listening and they're like isn't that right and i'm like uh <laughs> he says i don't i don't give a fig either way it's like a like a little kid trying to be a badass, but he's also afraid of swearing. There's a lot of stuff going on in here, huh? I love this room where you just walk in and punch the dude in the back over and over until he dies. That's pretty cool. This is just disgusting. You know, now that you mention it, I do remember this part. <laughs> Fun isn't something one considers when balancing Dark Souls 2, but this does bring a smile to my face. I don't know what I expected. You gotta attack the feet. You gotta attack the feet. No! <laughs> I saw it coming. He, he like reared back the feet, the foot I should say. There was nothing I could do. He was there for five seconds and then he was like, Gotcha. My mom definitely did also love 
Hey, hey there, Delilah by the plain white tees. There's no doubt. You just really ignored the incredible view. Um, I mean, this just looks like... It's like a worse Stanley Park. This is a lot of fun. Go ahead, try me. Oh, he's gonna... Tr he's not gonna try, he's gonna get me. Like, just... At what point during the creation of this game? Like, just listen to me. If they just exploded and hurt you and also could knock you off the edge. That's fun. I would, be, I would laugh at every death. The fact that they also break your armor is just like... They, it, it feels like the game designers just wanted to make you upset. Especially because, like, all it does is annoy you. Like, okay, you broke my armor. So now I'm gonna go back to Majula and pay some souls and then get it back. And it, like, was really just a slight inconvenience. It's just, it's just weird to me. You could just take off your armor? Yeah, but that's also like a waste of time. It's all a waste of time. What were they thinking? The Armor Martyrs, created by Aldia in Aldia's Keep. They had narrow shoulders and no armor fit them properly. Thus, as undead, they spend their days hunting down armor wearers and breaking the equipment that they themselves cannot wear. Oh good, another 75 Titanite crystal demon, whatever you're called. Where the heck? No! The worst part about this shit is you can't even put it up on TikTok because the zoomers just go, what game is this? It looks like it's from the original PlayStation. Why does his shell... Which is supposed to be rigid, move like that when he runs. <laughs> you don't understand. It's, there were diff there were restrictions back then with the technology. You had to make the armor anchor to the person's 3D model. You couldn't just make it appear rigid, otherwise it would take too many of the gigaflops from the console's processor. Bro, this shit's pissing me off. Where's Elden Ring, dude? Like, I wasn't, um, I wasn't mad about it until now. Now I'm like, where the hell's Elden Ring? You owe me Elden Ring. Now that I'm beating Dark Souls 2. Don't, don't. Oh my god! I can't believe that kind of work. Don't, no, no, no. Stop. I don't remember DS2 looking this good. This is, this is one of the better looking areas that we've been to for sure. It's not, it's not perfect, but... It's not, it's not terrible. Some of you might be wondering, what does misting mean? Misting is being, uh... It's a big brother term being, meaning that Daniel is emotionally... Uh, let, let's not make it sound bad by saying he's emotionally manipulating you. But he, he, he's got me questioning whether or not he's going into the Big Brother house. And he keeps tweeting GIFs. Like today he tweeted a GIF from Mad Men where uh, Roger Sterling's juggling a lot of balls. What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh my god. Again? Why are you so small now? It's funny, I, is there a lore reason for him being small? Or is it just a small area, but they wanted him to be here? So they're like, wow, we can't have him be his normal size. I'll give you my theory. Because, I mean, and I don't know anything. I don't think Dan would go back into the house. But I would be surprised if he was not filming some kind of thing for the show. 
This- I don't remember this part. This seems cool. My reaction when only Big Brother contestants survive the apocalypse. Oh, that's just that one. There's a great, like, this is the end style, like, short film in there. Where Dan becomes the leader of, like, a post-apocalyptic Mad Max society. So Chad has told me we're supposed to also defeat this guy. We're supposed to also punch him? Yes. Yeet. Correct. Okay. Alright. Very bad boss. He looks like, um... Oh, no. He looks like the... The boss from the, uh... Dark Souls 3 DLC. You know the one I'm talking about? This is maybe the worst boss. Can't lie, this boss is... S-word. This is the worst boss in Souls, up there with Bed of Chaos. Exclamation point skip in chat, please. There are no skippable bosses in Dark Souls when you're streaming. Yikes. His tail touched me, is the thing. His tail touched me, so... Guess we'll watch out for that one in the future. I, I hear you. Let's go murder Ornstein. Everybody welcome Kate to the show. It's Kate. What if I'm just the voice changing half? And I don't actually exist? Are you, are you asking, because there's two different ways you could take that. Are you asking, what if you were just a voice changing app and I was misleading chat? Yeah. Or, what if I was misleading myself and I was actually insane? No. And I thought you'd, okay. I feel like that'd be a very weird lie to perpetuate on Twitch. Is to pretend to have a wife. And, and keep it going for like a really, really long time. Yeah, on Kate's, on Kate's stream we're gonna play Raft. This will now make, um... The third time I have played Raft. Oh, really? And I don't think I've ever played for more than like an hour and a half. So it should be new. Raft, Raft, we're the Raft. Did you just play it like, uh, <laughs> like a, the NLSS? first. Yeah, we played it on NLSS once. And then me, Dan, and Matt this uh, did it on our YouTube series. Oh, no. But then I thought we were having a great time. And then they were both like, yeah, I'm kind of done. Now, by the way, this is Dark Souls 2, where you uh, beat a boss with no heals while having a conversation with your wife. Duma is deceived me. Who would refuse such magnificence? You are forgiven. On this half wit, he knows not what he speaks. He just got non-stop punched in the kidney over and over. You are my greatest challenge. What happened to this dude? Someone swallowed his soul. Giant Lord! Uh, oh, the, some of the names just hit differently. How did we figure out how the, the right order to go to beat this game? Before the strategy guide existed. Like, I don't even understand. Like, I'm, I'm thinking back to myself in 2014. And I'm like, how the hell did did we figure out... You Oh, you gotta go back to the first area. And then walk up to a tree. And then it'll transport you into Instagram. Uh, where you're gonna go fight a large man with a sword. I love there's just a couple of benches. It's one of my favorite parts of the environmental design of Dark Souls, is how much of it is actually, like, usable. It's like, it's obviously, like, horrible. But also, they're like, eh, you know, somebody used to live here. And they used to, like, sitting out here and looking at this thing. Is that what we're looking for? Soul of a great hero? We're just out? We just go? Wow. It's a lot of fun. What the heck? 
Well. This is extremely unexpected. Little Shadow of the Colossus moment there. <laughs> Give him a little bonk. <laughs> I love it, dude. All the, the desiccated giants look like they just had their soul sucked out through the tip of their dick. It's, it's extremely hilarious every time I see one. I was thinking, you know what would be interesting? What if we just died right here? Now, you know what would be interesting? If we just kept going up and then breaking aggro and then going back down and punching him twice? This is no, this is the speedrun strat. I saw it on uh, SGDQ. Poopy games done quickly. That's not fair. Dark Souls 2 is not a poopy game. Why does this sound like we're taking a drink every time we hit him? It's like the Estus sound, but muted. Just let me out of the stones, please. So, let me pitch you on an environment. This son of a bitch rings a bell, alright? As he rings the bell, it summons all these dudes from their graves. Um, which is, like, sick. And then, you try to run away, but you can't, because there's waist-high stones. Literally everywhere. Literally 100% of the directions you look. And you can't, unlike every other object in the game, you can't break them by rolling into it. You just gotta hit it. Take a slice of this. This is not the fight. Pussy! He's a pussy! He knew I was gonna cream him, so he banished me with the black separation crystal. I mean, look, look, we died to him once. I ain't sweating it. Just just give me the chance to redeem myself. One of these attacks is gonna hit him. The jank of the hitbox combined with the emotional music is so good. It's just not a good fight. I know a YouTube audience, I apologize. I know there's a lot of Dark Souls 2 lovers over there. You gotta admit this one's not all that. Ooh, luckily a little overhead smash there. We put a lot of work in on this one. You don't need to kill Vendrick. Can I get exclamation point skip in the chat, please? But later you'll have better gear. Can I get exclamation point Donatello in chat, please? There, there is no better gear. There is only this. So I think we will leave this for a little bit later. No, I'm asking for a lot of first grade instruction. Um, can we get a uh, first grade instruction for where the DLC entrance is? I did hear that the DLC for Souls, uh, Dark Souls 2 is pretty good. From always does a great job on the DLC. 